write the total number of terms in the expansion of x plus a whole to the power 100 plus x minus a whole power 100. We know that the expansion of x plus a whole to the power x plus a whole to the power n is nc naught x to the power n plus nc1 x to the power n minus 1 into a power 1 plus and so on nc n a to the power n. So we can write here x plus a whole to the power 100 is equal to 100 c naught x to the power 100 plus 100 c1 x to the power 100 minus 199 into a to the power 1 plus 100 c2 x to the power 100 minus 2 that is 98 into a to the power 2 plus and so on 100 c 100 a to the power 100 similarly x minus a whole power 100 will be taken as so here whenever x minus a whole power n we will be getting alternate plus minus so for odd powers you will get negative so 100 c naught x to the power 100 minus 100 c1 x to the power 99 into a power 1 plus 100 c2 x to the power 98 100 minus 2 98 into a to the power 2 and so on up to 100 c 100 a to the power 100 so upon adding both x plus a whole power 100 plus x minus a whole power 100 upon adding so the odd terms will get cancelled so we can see that the odd terms get cancelled 100 c1 and the next 100 c3 and so on 100 c99 also the terms gets cancelled only even even coefficients here will be remaining so let us consider 100 c naught x power 100 plus 100 c naught x power 100 that is two times we can write 100 c naught x power 100 plus 100 c2 x power 98 into a to the power 2 and so on up to 100 c 100 a to the power 100 so here we can say that there are and 2 to 100 that is 50 terms are there and again plus 0 this is 1 term so total 51 terms we have so the number of terms number of terms in the expansion of in the expansion of x plus a whole to the power 100 plus x minus a whole power 100 is equal to 51 so 51 terms are there or even just by using the simple formula we can also tell this in the expansion of in the expansion of x plus a whole power n plus x minus a whole power n if n is even if n is even then the number of terms then the number of terms is equal to n by 2 plus 1 so here n is equal to 100 therefore the number of terms will be taken number of terms is equal to 100 by 2 plus 1 that is 50 plus 1 which is 51 so 51 terms is the answer okay this is all